How's it going, everyone? Just uh, going on a little trip. I uh, shut down my house, shut down the generator for a little while. Take a take a little trip to my folks' house. My mother called me on her cell phone a little while ago. Told me they were doing all right, but just gotta check on them. It's kind of a little reminder that. You know, you don't just prep for yourselves. You know, we uh, we do what we do. We prep how we prep. We think about those in our immediate family. And one thing that you got to make sure of is those outside your immediate family that you're able to do a little something for them. Now, my dad's pretty much disabled right now. He can't really do much. They uh, they don't really have much in the way of heat. I brought them over a propane lantern yesterday. They had plenty of candles going and their house was actually pretty warm uh, when I went over to go see my dad. But heading on over there, I'm going to stop at the uh, stop at the hardware store. I'm going to buy them some extra propane. Just make sure they have enough to make their way through. I know they're good with food. I talked to her about food, but just a uh, just a little reminder that uh, even though it may only be you or you and your wife or you and your wife and your kid, that it uh, it's a little more than that. You got other folks and other people that you care about, that care about you, that you're uh, that you're worried about, and your neighbors. Don't forget about your neighbors. I uh, did a little walk about an hour ago, I guess, and uh, checked on my neighbor a couple doors down. You know, single mother, two kids. Checked on her, made sure she uh... oh, sorry about that. Made sure uh, made sure she was good. She was outside, so made sure she at least had what she needed. But this kind of goes back to the. Uh, back to the uh, video not too long ago from uh, I think it was Southern Prepper about would you turn people away I don't know tough situation tough call we're in just a couple of days here you know a couple of days here and I still went and I, t I talked to her real quick and made sure she was all right, you know? Yeah, they're a little chilly in their house right now. They, they, they don't have a fireplace. They don't really have anything like that, but her kids are older, you know, late teens, early 20s, so they're not kids' kids, you know? I mean, they're, they're older kids, but you gotta check on those around you. Can you turn people away? Tough call. If it was me and my kids were starving, I barely had enough to feed them. Yeah, I think I'd, uh, I think I'd be able to turn away anyone. But it's not just you. You can't, you can't do the lone wolf. You know, everyone likes to think, you know, we'll we'll do the lone wolf. You know, I'll I'll stay by myself. I'll go eat MREs out in the, you know, out in the woods somewhere. It doesn't really work like that got to take care of those around you you know they're going to be the ones that are going to take care of you when you really need the help so anyway just uh just a couple of thoughts take care everyone be safe